Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I'm going to do a vegan restaurant review. And what I actually say is it's not fully vegan. The majority of foods are vegan, but they're at least all vegetarian. And yeah, if some of them aren't vegan, you can ask for things to be removed, such as the pad thai I was about to have has egg and honey in it, but I asked for that, so that's fine. And this is called Evolution Yogi Cafe. And this is a Gama's Yoga Center, which is a very, popular yoga center here in Koh Phangan, Thailand. One of the most popular out there. And yeah, I'll give you a quick look of what it looks like around here as well. And yeah, this is the area where you can eat. Very nice decor, very lovely environment. I think it's really, really nice, all open. And you've got lovely nature all next to you as well. I'm sitting down here and yeah they do a wide variety of foods they do like this raw vegan apple and walnut cake this raw vegan chocolate cake chocolate beetroot cake raw granola dreams a lot of gluten-free things sauerkrauts fermented drinks such as kombucha so many different things and then yeah we've got this lovely lovely menu over here, they've got all types of vegan burgers, vegetable dishes, soups, like so many different things. Standard Thai dishes, all these desserts here, like so many different things. And yeah, loads of different drinks on there, quick bites, salads, loads of yummy yummy goodness, power shots as well. So yeah, my food just started to arrive. So let's check it out, shall we? And I'm also gonna do a mukbang. So I'm gonna be talking the whole time whilst I'm eating. So we have a lovely freshly made green juice here. It's amazing, it's like lemon ginger blast that used to make, which I learned from Dan McDonald, the life of generator years ago. And we also have the white rice here, for the number one. Freshly made mass man curry. I asked without any oil as well. I accidentally forgot to not ask it about oil yesterday and it just tasted a really rancid, horrible oil. So I won't make that mistake again. Also the pad thai, I asked for a little bit of oil. I'm not into oil. A lot of people ask me, what type of diet do I eat? Do I eat a kinogenic diet, like plant-based diet? What do I eat? So yeah, I eat a whole food, plant-based vegan diet. It's high in carbohydrates and most of the time low in fat. I find that fat just doesn't make me feel good at all. Mm. super green taste to it but super sweet at the same time like the perfect balance it doesn't just taste like horrible strong greens you need to always be making juice with some sort of lemon or lime or apple or carrot to make it taste really good if you have to hold your nose and get your juice down as quick as possible because it doesn't taste good you're making it wrong or the place you're buying it from is Ah, so that's really good. So I'm going to give that a few minutes to go down. So my stomach's completely empty. Then I feel as full when I eat this, and yeah, it's allowed my body to absorb it really quickly. And what I say is, I had a massive, massive green fruit smoothie with bananas in mangoes, wheatgrass green juice powder, Hawaiian spirulina, garden life sprouted vanilla protein powder as well. Um, so yeah, it may seem like I'm not eating a lot today, but that smoothie was around a quart in size and I had a coconut water before. So yeah, I always make sure the majority of the time that I break my daily one meal a day fast with that green fruit smoothie because it just is packed full of so many micronutrients and oh there's also gelatinized macro in it as well and you want to be making sure with one meal a day that you are getting all of the micro and macronutrients you need so that conscious calisthenics elixir that i have personally created myself that i'll be sharing with you soon in a video showing you me specifically making and eating it as well because a lot of people are requesting it 
It's just going to give you the best help in mind and body holistically and optimize your di digestion, your hormone production as well, increase your longevity. So yeah, because this food has not got all the nutrients I need, a lot of time the cooked food hasn't. So yeah, by having those amazing superfoods added to it that are super nutrient dense, I can make sure that I'm getting everything that I need. And so many people are so chronically deficient in so many different nutrients. And yeah, it has a whole host of negative effects on you. I always make sure it's this cucumber with a cooked food or a movie because it's basically like a melon. So it digests like really, really fast. So if you're consuming that with cooked food, it will slow it down, cause it to ferment, create alcohols in the body, cause gas and bloating, which a lot of people have an issue with. And yeah, it's just not gonna make you feel good because it's creating all these toxic byproducts. So that's something to be very, very mindful of. And yeah, I'm already thinking about getting another rice. And yeah, this Massaman curry is one of my favorite. And yeah, that is the best green juice that I've ever had in Thailand. So yeah, I give that a 10 out of 10. I think the prices are here are relatively good. They're not the highest price compared to other restaurants. Like I said, I love the environment. I love the people as well. It's high quality food. And yeah, it's one of the main places that I come to on a regular basis in Koh Phangan, Thailand. So I highly, highly recommend it. And if you're into yoga as well, or astrology, or tantra, or any different types of like, spiritual practices or different ways of living, then there's loads of things like that there as well. So they have a lot to offer in this place. So yeah, so yeah, that juice is making me feel really good. It's a brilliant way to yeah, just give your body a concentrated like form of nutrition very very quickly. And yeah, they're making some juice in the background. That's why there's that noise. But sorry, I cannot avoid that at all. Um, we've got a little bit of lamb here. Yeah, I am looking forward to this food. Like people say that vegan food is boring. I never feel bored with the vegan food that I get to eat. I absolutely love it. Yeah, and there's no shortage of vegan food in Koh Phangan. Like in like a mile radius or even two kilometer radius, there is vegan restaurants everywhere. Or if not vegan restaurants, places with vegan options. So yeah, let's try it. The Massaman curry. I've had many, many times before. Mm. Wow, so, so flavorful, a little bit spicy, very nice blend of herbs in there, very strong taste, potatoes, well, as a carrot actually, it's cooked to perfection, really tasty carrots, like, mm, man, my body. My body is singing, like, it is very, very enjoyable. And yeah, I recommend if you're a vegan, come to Koh Phangan, Thailand. So many vegan restaurants, so many like-minded vegans, so much to do here, really cheap as well. Mm. What I do is I'll put the price for how much this all costs here, in case you're interested, because a lot of people ask me that. Mm. Quite a few people in here, more than I normally see. One down four, and this is what you're going to find anywhere in Koh Gang around this time. They're around half five to half six mosquito time so i mean bitten by mosquitoes not much you can do about it though except bring some like frogs and cover yourself in them i've been wearing a hoodie and jogging bottoms a lot of times places to stop that recently Man, I love this food. Thank you. 
Macedonian curry is one of my most favourite food dishes in the world. And potatoes and rice are one of my favourite like plant foods on their own. A lot of people ask me, do you eat every night? Yes, I do. Like, I'm very busy. I have a, I'm an entrepreneur, I run many different businesses, multiple YouTube channels, I have a lot going on. So yeah, going out to restaurants where I can pay someone to make my food, yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> All the time. And it is, when you wanna become the most successful entrepreneur possible, it's about outsourcing all the jobs that other people can do so then you can focus on the jobs you only can do so then you can maximise your productivity and your income I learned this from so many different successful entrepreneurs the most successful in the world so yeah, outsource my cooking was outsource the cleaning of my house. Yeah, just try and outsource as many things as you can. And in Thailand especially, it's you, like, you don't have to be really, really rich to outsource a lot of things as well. So so many people focusing on a million different one things throughout the day. It's like, you need to be having as much radical focus where you can focus upon one thing for a really long period of time. And then you maximize your productivity like crazy. Yeah, and quite a few people are wondering, like, how do I make most of my money to live in Thailand through YouTube? And how can you do it too? It's very simple. Set up a YouTube channel, start making consistent videos on a regular basis, learn how to optimize search engine optimization, build an audience, um, make sure you're making good content, good videos. That's what I did for years and years and years and years. It took me quite a while to earn money, but I didn't know how to make it work the best for me and get it to a high level of YouTube and earning good money straight away. But where I'm at now, I know how to make it work easily. Um, and if you have good things to share on YouTube, there's going to be people that listen to you. No matter how many people are on YouTube, never going to be too many YouTubers. And the way you make money for it is, adverts get placed on your videos. You must have over 10,000 views accumulated across your whole channel before you start monetizing your videos, which means run ads on them to earn money. Well, once you get to that point, you can start earning money. And the longer the video is, the more adverts you can put on. And when videos are under 10 minutes, they put the ads where they want to, but when it's over 10 minutes, you can put them where you want. So that's why I prefer to make videos over 10 minutes. And it's not about views or subscribers, as a lot of people think. It's all about watch time and audience retention. So the longer time you have your audience, 
retention, well retaining their attention and having them watch as much of your videos as possible in minutes, the more adverts come up, the more money you make, the more money YouTube make. I'm being bitten by mosquitoes. Like crazy right now. So we're gonna put a t-shirt on, because that will help. Wrong way around. <laughs> yeah, I'm a vegan, but I think vegans, I mean, not vegans, mosquitoes should be eliminated from this physical human earth experience, so to speak. I'm sure most of you agree with me. One downfall with this place in my videos is, oh, it's a little bit noisy, but that's okay. That can't be helped. But the lights keep going on and off. I have no idea why. Mm. Yeah, and as with a lot of things, like, it may take quite a while to earn good money off of YouTube and to stay in a full-time, well, get a full-time income from it so you can quit your job. Yeah, a lot of people quit before they start to see the results. But for me, I kept posting a video every single day, well, almost every single day about fail for three years leading up to this point. And I wasn't making good money at first, but in the end I did. It took me about two years and a half to start earning good money. Because yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. At first I was making a lot of content that was just not good for making money at all. For getting a lot of views. Um, so yeah, I made a lot of big, big mistakes. With this channel, I knew exactly what I'm doing. I'm earning really good money from it, from the first month of doing it. So yeah, make sure you're consistent. As with anything in life, learn from your errors, learn how to improve on camera, your editing skills, how to optimize your channel. And yeah. I will start offering YouTube coaching sessions in the future in case people want me to help set up their channel, optimize their channel, teach them how to film better, make money from it. We have a lot of experience and knowledge and I've helped other people set up successful YouTube channels as well. Done very well. Like my uh, girlfriend Sophie that I was with, I saw she had something good to offer on YouTube. Got to set up the channel, helped her with it, told her what to do with videos. SEO, making titles, thumbnails. I mean, just three months, she's only six thousand dollars a month. Yeah, and what I say is, she did have some content that could just do really well on YouTube. A lot of people aren't going to have the right type of content to make money that quickly. But a lot of channels, no matter what you're talking about, if you do it right. Within like a month, two months, you can easily earn a thousand dollars. Like, no problem. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't buy more white rice, but I will. I drink the rest like a soup. food afterwards, but let's see how I feel. Hmm. 
This is pretty good. Mm. So yeah, massive amount of juice, 10 out of 10. But I forgot about this with the pad thai here. I've only had it like once or twice. It's not the best pad thai, I admit that. Like, good vegetables added to it. Got some crushed peanut on the side. But for some reason, and I got my friend taste it last time, it tastes like tomato ketchup. So there's definitely some sort of sugar or something in there, which I do not want sugar in my food. Maybe I'm wrong, it's not sugar, but it's really, really sweet and tastes exactly like tomato ketchup, which is full of it. Well, full of sugar. I mean, it doesn't make it taste really bad, it just doesn't taste like a pad thai. I've never had a pad thai that tastes like this. Like a swarm of mosquitoes, not the They always seem to come after me the most as well. Maybe it's because I'm one of the healthiest people around. And on a side note, because it's yoga place, there's always very nice female around. <laughs> Appreciate the beauty. Yeah. You If you're gonna come here, come here around before five or after seven, you won't get bit by mosquitoes like I am a lot. But it's a bit annoying. Yeah, the pad thai is good, just the flavor not so good, so I'm going to give it like 5 out of 10. Yeah, the pad 
So as you've done, Mosque is doing my head, so I sort of rushing it, but then I'm still making I'm sure I'm chewing very well. But yeah, the only match to damn for here were one of them. Um, so yeah, in all, very good, enjoyable meal, very, very tasty. I don't feel completely full, but yeah, these mosquitoes drive me mad, so I'm not going to eat any more food. So yeah, I'm going to end it quickly. Leave Christmas down below, like, share, subscribe, and make sure you click that bell notification button to get a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. As always, stay fit, stay energy, and go get those gains. Peace.